Hi, welcome back. In this video, I thought I would highlight a maintenance step that should be done for paver walkways and patios. Paver stone walkways and patios are a great and durable addition to any home or business. They often last longer than the traditional concrete walkways and patios, especially in areas that experience wide temperature fluctuations. However, pavers do require some level of maintenance. In this video, I'll highlight the maintenance task of reapplying polymeric sand to strengthen the joints in between the paver stones. So, what is polymeric sand, you ask? It's basically fine sand that is combined with additives that form a binding agent when exposed to water. Silica is the most common additive used in polymeric sand, and it helps to lock the fine sand particles together. As the sand particles fuse, the joint or space in between the two paver stones become impenetrable and the pavers are essentially locked in place. However, polymeric sand doesn't last forever. In some areas, polymeric sand begins to degrade over the course of a few years. It really depends on the environment and location. In places like Florida and Texas, polymeric sand joints will last many, many years. Whereas places like upstate New York, it might only last a couple of years due to the snow and ice. When polymeric sand degrades, the first thing that typically occurs is weeds and grass growing in between the paver stones. This is not only an eyesore, but it will cause more problems down the road. The other thing that may happen is water settling in between and under the pavers. If this happens, it could cause the paver stones to sink or even lift when the water freezes in the winter. This will cause an uneven surface that results in a trip hazard. Fortunately, reapplying polymeric sand is a pretty easy process, and I'll show you what I did to reapply the polymeric sand for my paver walkway. The very first step is to plan out when to do the work. This is the type of project you want to plan according to the weather. Since polymeric sand requires water to be activated, you'll need to make sure there is no rain in the forecast. The paver stones must be completely dry before you apply the polymeric sand. So, I took a look to make sure which days there would be no rain, as well as ensuring there were no days where the temperature dips below freezing. Polymeric sand requires a full 24 hours of no rain and temperatures above freezing in order for the sand to properly cure. Let's talk about the supplies you will need for reapplying the polymeric sand. You will need a pressure washer to clean out the gaps or joints in between the pavers. You will also need a large sweeper broom and maybe even a smaller broom to get in between the smaller areas. You will need the polymeric sand, a tamper, which in my case it's a hand tamper. Ideally renting a tamper machine would make things easier, but it wouldn't work in my situation since it is a paver walkway with steps. So I'm using a hand tamper with some shop towels wrapped around the base so that it doesn't damage the stones. You'll also need some gloves and a face mask, ideally an N95. The next step is to pull out any weeds or grass that may be growing in between the stones. I didn't have much growing so this was a pretty easy task for me. Next, use the pressure washer to thoroughly clean the stones, but more importantly, spray in between the paver joints to remove any of the old polymeric sand in between the pavers. This is important because it will give the new polymeric sand a clean surface to bind together. I was using a 15 degree spray head for the pressure washer and that worked out well. Let the pavers completely dry before starting the next step. It took my pavers about two days to completely dry out since I was applying this in early fall. Next, spread the polymeric sand over the pavers. Make sure you wear a mask while doing this because the dust that kicks up from the sand is something you don't want to be breathing in. I got a 40 pound tub of polymeric sand from Home Depot and I only needed about half of it for this walkway. I'm using the wide sweeper brush to spread the sand across the pavers and into the joints. I'll then use the hand tamper to work the sand in between each joint, followed by continued sweeping. Repeat this process as much as needed until the gaps in between each paver stone is filled up to about an eighth of an inch from the top of the pavers. The next step is to use a leaf blower at a low speed to dust off the pavers. I kept the leaf blower at about a 30 degree angle and went with the lowest throttle speed as possible. You want to be able to clear off any dust residue on top of the paver stones. However, you don't want to blow off any of the polymeric sand in between the paver joints. 
This will ensure that there won't be any staining of the paver stones caused by the polymeric sand dust. Finally, you'll want to use a hose sprayer to lightly water the paver stone joints. This is what will activate the binding agents in the polymeric sand. It's important to add enough water, but not too much water. Too much water will cause the polymeric sand to wash away. Give the polymeric sand a solid 24 to 48 hours to properly dry and cure. This is why it's important to plan the project around the weather. If rain is unavoidable, then you can cover this up with a tarp. Once it's all dried up, your paver patio or walkway will look a hundred times better and it will be just as strong. I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.